Final day, lots of faffing this morning. Possible rain. I did have a problem with the wire. I'm tired. So I've got no navigation currently. Home of Iron Brew. Big coat is going on. Yeah, it's still raining. I wonder what else I could be doing today. So my head has gone. Bad enough. That escalated quickly. And ride. Yes. I'm glad it's over. Glad it's over. It's how far it's in the morning. I've been so disorganised this morning. It's been faffing. Mm. Mind is not thinking straight and clarity isn't really there. But we've got everything ready to throw into the towel fin. Pocket food. Those two bags are sorted. Kit is ready to throw on. And various pocket bits. Get those in and the uh, crusty steed over there. Probably just gonna roll just after six, I think. It's just that thought of another long day ahead. <laughs> Which weirdly in my head, for some reason, I thought would be easier than yesterday. And that's gonna hurt. I to check where the first big bump is, or muck bump is. Just leave the hotel, it's 6.06. .06. Kit is still a little bit slightly damp, but doesn't smell as bad as it did yesterday. Huge tailwind, I think, all the way up for the day. Uh, but there is a hint of possible rain uh, sometime this morning, but I think it's mainly through Carlisle. So I just need to try and get out and across the border uh, and on my way through Scotland before that rain comes. Uh, but currently, conveniently, my destination today is showing rain at 6 pm. So thanks for that. Things hurt. Get the show on the road. I'm tired, you can probably tell. Not sure where James is. It's kept very quiet this weekend. I think James might even be around here. I think given the amount of, well, he hinted how long he spent on the bike yesterday. He could be here, or I think he might even be in Gretna, which is the next town from here for me in about 10 mile, I think. So let's just see what happens. I did have a problem with the Wahoo during the night. Went to power it down said it did but then I think it just stayed on just kept beeping through the night so it managed to lose 40% charge overnight uh, I've managed to catch that back in the hour I've been awake already today so I just hope it's not losing power quicker than it usually does on a ride so I've got to keep an eye on that could make today very interesting I've stopped at a roundabout because I haven't loaded the map yet and I don't know where I'm going <laughs> the ride it's not picking up any of satellite data power speed not picking up the navigation, still thinks I'm in the hotel for some reason. So I've got no navigation currently. I don't know what the f to do. It is now 20 past six. Um, forced reboot, apparently, on the side of the road. I think, luckily, that has managed to fix it. Um, yeah, so, well. Lost 15 minutes, so what, three or four miles? So that tailwind just needs to be a little bit stronger. So, 11. Hours, 35 minutes to go. Uh, force reboot. I think it's now picked up the satellite navigation. Uh, so hopefully I can navigate my way north. For those of you that know me, you know how I would have been feeling for the last 15 minutes of my life. Anyway, what's the worst that can happen? We're good. We're rolling. Let's get the show on the road. Another warm start again. That air is a bit. Ooh. Half of my DNA is coming home. Scotland. Home of Iron Brew, lawn sausages, and other stuff, probably. I don't know, it's supposed to be on the right hand side of the road over here. Let's go down the middle. Yes, the creaking bottom bracket is pissing me off. 18 miles in, I don't know if you're able to see through the uh, Scottish summer that I'm currently in, but behind me, there is another cyclist. They're getting a lot faster than me. 
I hope it's James. What are the rules on drafting, uh, Mr. Bernie? Just starting to come down a little bit too heavy now for my liking. So, big coat is going on. So I'm dialing, knocking down. I think we've got to stop in about 10 miles anyway. What do you mean you've never ridden to a motorway service station before? That's wet. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Shit, man. That weather, cold, wet, rain is a little bit shit. And I can't really see it brightening up for the day, so going to be a very, very damp day. And I'm that tired. Pressed the machine for a white coffee and then um, took the cup away before the milk actually came out. So, nice uh, black coffee. That's a bit better. Went for a piss. Stuck my head under the hand dryer. Dried my hair a little bit. Shook the shirt underneath for a couple of seconds. Just hope it doesn't rain again. Just a quick update, roadside and next to the M74. Um, it's still raining. After the service station, it did stop and the big jacket came off. And it was quite nice, motivated from the coffee and the sausage roll. And I was, morale had lifted and I was looking forward to cracking on. And then after about five minutes, it started raining again. And I just want to keep stopping for a piss. It's like that story you hear as a kid when you make sleep and stick his finger in a cup of water and he'll piss himself. And that's me today. Little finger gets wet. I need to stop. I wonder what else I could be doing today. Just take that all in. Stunning scenery. Ahead of me is the woodland in the shape of a cock and balls. Welcome to Scotland. <laughs> Yes, yes, I need services. Yes, I'm in completely the wrong gear for this time. It's nice to stop, but when you do, you get bloody cold. So my head has gone. To all this M6, M74, I've driven it before last year. It was stunning scenery, but how nice it is today to see the same scenery, but at about 16 miles an hour. It is stunning. Thankfully, the rain, I think, has cleared, but as I look that way, <laughs> it's looking a bit dark again. But it's just the wind is starting to pick up now. I say, like, once you stopped, just shivering. But you know, I've just got to take some time off the bike. I love it. It's been. It's been. I can't believe I've got as far as I have so far. I think it's only half 11. Some sections are really tough, and others you just seem to cruise by and the miles just tick off and tick away. Somehow I've made it 56 miles, I think. This potential I will have to ride past my intended destination and then have to ride back to it after six o'clock and quite frankly I don't want to do that. The legs have had enough. I just want to keep making progress. Still a sizable chunk to get rid of at the moment. Well I'll do the next three hours and then see where I am, how I feel. Just check the weather app again. This this is rain coming for the rest of the day, so big coat is going back on. I'm going to cut this pit stop short and crack on, and then I'll take a bit of refuge later on when I need warming up and drying out properly. So here we go, nearly 12 o'clock. 
six hours to go. We're done at 70 miles. Potentially probably ride for about four, four and a bit of the remaining six. That will probably get me just a little bit north of where I'm planning to be. Hopefully depending on what happens between now and then. Yeah, in and out of the rain. Huge tailwind. Well, occasionally huge tailwind. I've averaged about 20 miles an hour since this is in the station. It was 50 minutes ago. Middle of nowhere. Ridiculous. Ten minutes ago I had a big coat on, getting soaked. Now I'm putting my lats off. Getting warm enough that the gilet might come off. Maybe the arm warmers. Yeah. Side, I think of Livingston, Livingstone, Livingstone. The last petrol station pit stop of this challenge, which is good because it's cost me a fortune these last couple of days. Oh, I'm just glad. I'm enjoying it. It's been great. The scenery has been absolutely stunning. Not like the last two, three hours. Even though I've been pissing it down, it's losing me crisp. Even though I've been pissing it down, and then really sunny and really warm again, and then pissing it down again and then just repeat, repeat, repeat every five minutes. But it's been amazing. I've been through some amazing parts of Scotland today and even England yesterday. Absolutely stunning. But it is getting a bit cold and damp now. So James has uploaded his day two ride and he absolutely smashed it yesterday, which I'm guessing he smashed the first day as well. And I covered a big distance Friday night and then absolutely smashed it yesterday. So I hope he's the one if he pushes on to Fort William or Aviemore, like I said on Friday, if he pushes on, then absolute fair play. But it does get hilly. So absolute kudos to James. That is one heck of a ride. I couldn't do, he smashed, I think, a 100 mile Friday and then got up and rode 180 miles uh, yesterday. He spends a lot less time off the bike than I do. So the guy is an absolute animal absolute fair play he's probably done the same again today but i'm just going to get the last bit of food in now so i've got four hours i'm probably only going to push on for 45 maybe 50 and uh, see where we are come six o'clock Welcome to a, a wood in Perthshire. There she is. There we go, just clicked over. Six o'clock. 
the 48 hour challenge is now complete. The fat lady has finally sang. I am in Persia, just north of a village called Money Dye. I've ridden 141 miles today. In the 48 hours since we left Warwick on Friday evening, I've ridden 375 miles. The way the crow flies, I think it's about 290, but it has been one heck of an amazing 48 hours. Even today, I've been through everything today with that weather, and then to end it like this has been phenomenal. Um, thank you very much, don't know what else to say. I'm glad it's over, glad it's over. This isn't going to be one of those things where if you do the first one, you've got to do do it every year, is it? I need to stop this. <laughs> stop. End ride. Make sure I'm pressing the right button. End ride. Yes. Take your time. How good is that to finish the 48 hour challenge? In blazing sunshine it's too hot if anything Scotland if you're liking the light right now it's because this sunshine is bouncing off this puddle that's right in front of me works pretty well the original plan had logistics have gone my way would have been to end up in a place called Pit Lockery which I think is about 23 4 or 5 miles north of here but logistically Scott Rail has screwed me over you are not as bike friendly as your website and your pictures portray you are. Certainly in my experience anyway. The second plan had of today gone to plan without the issue with the Wahoo this morning and well just the general fatigue over the 48 hours was to end up in the next town seven miles away from here, Dunkeld. But that'll do. I need to go back that way back to Perth to get beer and food and to where my hotel is. Thank you to Gary at Unleashed for, yes, once again, the last minute rear wheel check. And me and my legs and body and power supplied by Charles Ward. Um, thank you to Team Hamster back in Warwickshire for the messages and motivation and piss taking. It helps when you're on the highs and lows, you know it. We've done Wales, we've done coast to coast. You know what it's like, you know how important it is. And it gets you through the day. Oh, I need to go and find one of those pubs where the people can buy me beer in an app. I'm, I'm going back now. I might walk. Oh yeah, I just need to show you this puddle that's give me a, a nice light. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice one. Thanks for watching. See you next year. May 19, 2023. 48 hour challenge. So yeah, one final sweep of the location. That's where the camera was resting to film that piece. There's the puddle. The sun has gone. Cracking views though. I just need to get to Perth before that. Pissing rain cloud.